Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes share an emotional moment after their match at WWE SummerSlam. Multiple botches take place in high-profile WWE SummerSlam match, who gave Logan Paul the brass knuckles at SummerSlam 2023. Identity revealed. Why did Ronda Rousey lose at SummerSlam? WWE seemingly changes stipulation during Cody Rhodes' Brock Lesnar match at SummerSlam 2023. Let's jump right into it. Multiple botches take place in high-profile WWE SummerSlam match. This year's WWE SummerSlam was opened by Logan and Paul taking on Ricochet after a story between the two men turned personal in recent weeks. The story ironically began from a botch back at Money in the Bank when Ricochet delivered a Spanish fly from the apron which was botched. It ended Paul's hopes of winning the Money in the Bank contract. As part of their match at SummerSlam, there was a throwback to this moment where Paul delivered the Spanish fly. But this was botched a second time when Ricochet was unable to land on his feet. This wasn't the only botch in the match, which isn't a surprise since both men put it all on the line. There was a point where Ricochet delivered the recoil, but when he put his his knees up, he didn't make contact with Paul because the former US champ had already bumped like it was a neck breaker. Despite the issues, the match was still a fantastic way to kick off SummerSlam and lifted the energy level in the arena. Did you notice the slight botches in the opening match at this year's WWE SummerSlam between Logan Paul and Ricochet? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Who gave Logan Paul the brass knuckles at SummerSlam 2023? Identity revealed. Logan Paul got the victory over Ricochet at WWE SummerSlam 2023. The competitors excitingly opened the show, with both getting the upper hand over each other at some point in the bout. However, the Maverick won after somebody from his corner gave him a brass knuckle. The person who gave Logan Paul the brass knuckle at SummerSlam 2023 was his manager Jeff Jeffrey Levin, who also handles that girl Lele. The 36-year-old was born on October 8, 1986 in New Jersey. From 2010 to 2012, he worked as an agent trainee at International Creative Management before working with Paul. Fans of The Maverick have seen Levin in several videos of the YouTuber and is mainly referred to as Manager Jeff. He has been managing the 28-year-old since 2017. Logan's win on tonight's SummerSlam event is a major one as this marked his first win since his bout against The Miz at last year's The Biggest Party of the Summer. Logan and Ricochet first encountered at this year's Royal Rumble match. However, one star Paul also had an exchange with before this year's money in the bank event was LA Knight. Interesting there was a reason for their encounter. The Maverick previously revealed that the Megastar was another star pitched to become his opponent at SummerSlam. He faced the former Intercontinental Champion, and Paul even praised his opponent. There are two guys that I would potentially have a match with at SummerSlam. I don't really know how this works. Do I pitch to the company? Do they pitch me? The two guys are Ricochet and LA Knight for various reasons. So Ricochet is obviously, I think he's probably one of the most athletic guys in WWE. The Maverick versus Ricochet showcased the skills and athleticism of both men, and it wouldn't hurt to put them somewhere deeper along the card. However, their one-on-one -on -one needed to be put first for one specific reason. It was previously revealed that Logan Paul made a special request open SummerSlam 2023 so he could leave early to attend Jake Paul's boxing match. The latter is set to take on former UFC fighter Nate Fiaz at American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. Logan's win on the biggest party of the summer could indicate that the story between both men is not finished yet. It remains to be seen when fans can see the YouTuber in WWE again. Why did Ronda Rousey lose at SummerSlam? Ronda Rousey did not have a memorable night at SummerSlam 2023 as she lost to her friend turned foe, Shayna Baszler. Rousey and Baszler faced each other in an MMA rules match. While both were MMA fighters before them pursuing pro wrestling, Rousey experienced much more success in MMA compared to Baszler. This led to questions about why Rousey was booked to lose at the biggest party of the summer. The answer is that the two-time SmackDown Women's Champion is set to leave WWE. As per reports, Rousey informed WWE about her final date and was waiting for a few with Baszler to commence. Considering she lost her match at SummerSlam, this might pretty much be the end of Ronda Rousey in WWE. There is a possibility the former UFC champion could appear on Raw. However, based on reports, it is unlikely to see Rousey pursue another rivalry in the Stanford-based promotion. At SummerSlam 2023, Rousey had her moments in the match. On many occasions, it felt as if the 36-year-old was close to winning the contest. However, the resilience and determination of Shayna Baszler helped her register the victory she dreamt of. The reports of Ronda Rousey wanting an exit from WWE's surface way before SummerSlam. This is one of the major probable reasons why Shayna Baszler turned her back on the former UFC champion at Money in the Bank. However, Baszler's actions left many in the WWE universe confused. One such person who did not understand the storyline is Jim Cornette. During an episode of his podcast, the wrestling veteran said he could not understand who was the babyface and the heel in the rivalry between Rousey and Baszler. Cornette said, So we know what's happening here because Ronda's managed to let everybody in the world know that she wants to get the f*** out of there. She's 
Given them a date, she's finishing up and by God, she's done. Jim continued, I'm still trying to figure out who's the baby face and who's the heel because Shayna just jumped Rhonda from behind out of nowhere and beat the total shit out of her like a heel would. I don't know what the fuck is going on with these people, but we know Shayna is gonna win because Rhonda is leaving, right? Considering the rivalry between Rousey and Baszler might now be over, it will be interesting to see the directions they head in. While Shayna Baszler will continue her career in WWE, rumors suggest Rhonda Rousey could make her USC comeback. WWE seemingly changes stipulation during Cody Rhodes Brock Lesnar match at SummerSlam 2023. Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar didn't have a stipulation at SummerSlam 2023 despite there being rumors of WWE possibly booking one. What was odd, however, was that there seemed to be a mid-match stipulation change. Cody Rhodes defeated Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam 2023 to end their feud for good as he went 2 to 1 in their series. After the match, Lesnar even turned babyface by shaking Rhodes' hand and embracing him, ending his heel run after just 4 months. What did didn't go unnoticed, however, was the fact that Cody Rhodes used the steel steps to attack Brock Lesnar, making everyone question whether the match suddenly became a no disqualification. At no point was the match booked as a no DQ match, nor was it announced during the entrance. Just to be clear, a superstar being sent into the steel steps during a regular match is never considered a DQ, but using the steel steps as an object to attack is considered a DQ. The referees saw this and were not sure why this spot was included in the match when there was never a no DQ stipulation in the first place. Either way, fans are happy that the American Nightmare defeated Lesnar, as he can now move on to the next chapter, while the Beast Incarnate likely takes a hiatus again. WWE fans in splits after Brock Lesnar suffers a wardrobe malfunction at WWE SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes battled it out in the second match of WWE SummerSlam. The match between the two WWE superstars marked their third encounter in WWE. The match started off with the Beast dominating Rhodes, constantly taking the attack to him. Lesnar hit Rhodes with two to fives outside the ring, with one of them landing on and breaking the announcer's desk. Cody Rhodes was able to gain control later on when he broke Lesnar's Kimura lock and put the Beast in his version of the same lock. In the end, Rhodes was able to conquer the Beast after hitting him with three continuous cross roads. Unfortunately for Lesnar, he suffered a wardrobe malfunction as his shorts were ripped. The tear didn't go unnoticed, as many members of the WWE Universe took notice of it and shared their thoughts across social media. After the match, an enraged Brock Lesnar took his gloves off and headed toward Cody. Fans expected the two to get into a brawl, but the Beast extended his hand to shake Cody's. Before before leaving the ring, Lesnar raised Cody's hand as a sign of respect. The American Nightmare then celebrated with his mother, who was ringside. Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes share an emotional moment after their match at WWE SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes pushed each other to the limit at WWE SummerSlam. The bout was the rubber match between the two WWE superstars, with them winning one match apiece. The match started with Cody Rhodes not waiting for the bell and attacking Brock Lesnar while he was in the ring. Lesnar was quick to regain control by hitting Rhodes with multiple suplexes and sending him outside the ring. At ringside, the Beast hit the American Nightmare with two F5s. One of those F5s saw Rhodes land on the commentator's table and break it. After trading offense, Cody was back in control when he hit Lesnar with the steel stairs, following it up with a disaster kick. The match ended when Cody Rhodes hit Brock Lesnar with three cross roads for the win. After the match, while Rhodes was celebrating, Lesnar stared him down, took off his gloves, and rushed towards him. The two had an intense stare down, but things calmed down when Lesnar extended his hand as a sign of respect. Brock Lesnar then hugged and raised Cody's arm for the crowd to cheer their hero on before leaving the ring at SummerSlam. After Lesnar left, Rhodes proceeded to hug and celebrate with his mother who was ringside. What do you think is next for Lesnar? Let us know in the comments section below. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me 